Why World of Warcraft 2 won't happen? Now, we just saw approval of Microsoft purchasing Blizzard, and I always said that if a WoW 2 ever happened, Microsoft would have to be the one behind it, considering the purchase is happening. Well, now it's done. The deal is literally closing in a couple hours as of me streaming right now. So could a WoW 2 be happening? Mm, WoW Crendor doesn't think so. Let's see why. World of Warcraft 2 is something that a lot of people have been talking about for years at this point, maybe even a decade, but I don't think it's going to happen. And this is why. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crendor Talks in front of okay. a shitty green screen. So <laughs> WoW 2 is something that the community has discussed for quite some time, right? right? Some people being like, I wish they made a WoW 2. I think I made videos about WoW 2 years ago at this point, but yeah. the more we've, I we've think all about seen... it, the less I think WoW 2.0 is going to happen. Look, we've it... all seen the images, right? And I'll throw some up on the screen here when I render this. Is you know, like these 4K um, Unreal Engine views of World of Warcraft and how like these lands that we recognize could be up res like in a completely new engine and everything like that. Um, people have done tons of art showing how like a new Azeroth would look, new Stormwind, all these like amazing new things and how they would look if the game was brought into a new engine and up completely uh, like an, on an Unreal Engine 5 or something like that. Uh, whether they would ever do something like that, I don't know. I'm, I, it, the thing about a WoW 2 is how do you transition the retail player base without dividing them? Because you don't want, you don't want to be running three games. You already got Classic right? And now you're going to have retail. And then you would technically have a new game that would be a WoW 2. And people say, well, WoW 2 wouldn't just be an up res. It'd be essentially starting over, like leveling from level one in a WoW 2, completely new game, um, but based on like the Warcraft lore and the same environments and places we know. Um, how would they do that? That'd be tough to do. I, I don't know. Bringing the game into a new engine, maybe that's what's considered a WoW 2, but WoW 2 starting from fresh, that'd be tough. In fact, I would go as far as to say we're already playing WoW 2. If you go and compare classic yeah, World of well, Warcraft yeah, technically, yeah. to retail World he of Warcraft, right this. they are two completely separate games, right? They have different feels, different end game, different just everything. And so yeah. I would say that we are actually in WoW 2.0 in retail. In fact, we might even be at WoW like 3.0, 4.0, whatever it might be, right? 10.0. Um, yeah, he's right. But, I mean, the world revamps have things have happened, cataclysms happen. We've seen tons of like if you look at your player characters today compared to classic, they're completely they look like two different games. It's two different games. We're definitely playing like the WoW two version of our own player characters. They've been upres completely. They don't look like the classic versions of themselves at all anymore. But there's still zones in the game that maybe didn't get touched during Cataclysm. I think of Angoro Crater personally. That looks fucking horrible. It's uh, those places have not been upresed at all. And if there was a WoW two, obviously the entirety of the world would be would be brought up to scale. To make a new version of World of Warcraft, all right. So say you know what we're we're making an, a real WoW two, not like uh, you know what I just talked about, right? So an, an entirely new game. Yeah. You would then have classic WoW. And oh, potentially yeah. classic class WoW at this point. Uh, you would have retail WoW, which would then become WoW 1. And then you would right. have WoW 2. So now you have three right. three versions of your game. And you've I, now I, died. There's no, yeah, they wouldn't be able to do that. If they ever did a WoW 2, they'd have to cut support for retail off. Like, like, like current retail. Obviously, WoW 2 would become retail. But current retail would have to be cut off. There's no, you cannot continue that. Uh, because here's the thing, people love their mounts, people love their transmog and everything else. So if you actually went this route and did a, a WoW 2, um, it would be tough to pull people away from that stuff. Now, I, I don't, it depends, I guess it all depends on how good WoW 2 is. Because if you can, if it's great and you convince everybody to leave their old shit behind and do the new shit, um, then you're okay. Then your player base really isn't divided. You're always going to have the old retail andies at that point who would not leave the game because they want to you know jerk off to their 364 mounts that they farmed but otherwise i think most people would just move on um but it'd have to be good and if it's not good you're going to run into a massive problem like he's talking about right now where you've completely divided the player base three ways now which is horrible diversified the player base into three different sections so each one of those is going to lose players which is one of the yeah. biggest reasons i think this will not happen, right? Yeah. Because you've already got two. You've got the classic player base and the retail player base. But yeah. then you spread it even thinner, and then you're managing three different games. You need just more people. You need a bigger team to run this whole thing. <laughs> and then 
it, you have to like manage each game way. and have people like hop between some some people play the new wow too and then they'll be like but i still want to go mount farm right i still want to go collect stuff and you know old wow at that point so you would yeah. go back to that but you're like oh you know what classic plus just had some new stuff so i'm gonna go play that as well right and so you have to like manage all these different things and then on top of that you're going to have other competition you've got the riot mmo coming out you've got other mmorpgs That's and the, the thing, mmorpg yeah. genre is in like this booming genre like it was back in the day right no. like this is already somewhat of a niche genre at this point look it is a niche genre but i think look, corporations only put their money where they see a future right they don't put their money in a dead end shit that's why we're not seeing any really like you know like a new rts or something coming out it, 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 that's not really a thing anymore it is but it's not right like there you don't see major dollars being put into it but you see right now companies like amazon who's like late there i think they're creating like their third mmo right now like they just dropped a new expansion for new world they reconfirmed that they are making an mmo for lord of the rings again um they they've obviously they've been dropping mmos left and right lately and amazon games is not going to do that if they don't see a future in it microsoft's acquisition of blizzard which just got confirmed today as uh it, it's happening now acquiring world of warcraft was a big thing for them they wanted to get into the mmo world then you obviously got Ashes of Creation, stuff like that. Th those are less, you know, indicative of what, of, of the MMO genre because that's just a private person putting their own money into it. But then you also got Riot, who's a major gaming corporation, and they are investing tons of money into making their own MMO. So all these huge gaming companies all want to dip their finger, or, you know, dip the tip, just the tip. They just want to put it into the MMO genre. And that that means it's not a dead uh, it's not a dead game it's not a, like a dead game category I guess you could say, but does Microsoft decide to make a WoW two, or do they simply push World of Warcraft as it currently stands retail as it currently stands into a new game engine and that would be WoW two technically. Point. Maybe you get more people playing it compete, because though, of it's only getting more the new Riot MMO or like Final Fantasy I should have mentioned, uh, but. Like, still, it's it's not like this big, booming genre like it was. It's just more of this niche genre that a lot of people have tried to get into and failed miserably. Like, it's one of the riskiest ones because it, it requires so it's much money and effort. Yeah. And then, you know, there, there's so many other games and things for people to play that they end up playing different things. It's like there, there's so yeah. much. Back in the day, it was like... It's, it's, mu it's much less costly to make, a, say, a, a Battle Royale than it is to make an MMO. Right, so if you fail with your battle royale, oh, you lost money. But you fail with your MMO, usually it's like fucking, it's devastating. It's a ton of money, and you just gotta patch it and try to make it work because you've already gone way too deep into it. Warcraft, and like a couple old RPG MMORPG things, like EverQuest and stuff, right? And so everyone was like, "Ooh, wow!" But now there's just there's just so many things, so many games, even not even just MMORPGs, but just other games to kind of soak yeah. up all of your time. And so That's true. to create an entire new game, something like a WoW 2.0 is just a massive investment with be. kind of high risk and like, okay reward, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't think there's going to be a massive reward here. I don't think there's gonna be like Wrath of the Lich What's King up, return of the 12 million player base, right? Like, yeah. I, I just can't yeah. see it happening. Now, some of the things I think people bring up with WoW 2 are things that they could just build into expansions. For example, a lot of people talk about updated graphics. Well, they pretty much have updated the graphics. They and have, now yeah, that's true. Uh, some people might want like more realistic graphics. But to me, that would mean you're kind of going away from what Warcraft is. To me, Warcraft is that very cartoony type of warcraft style game back from like yeah. warcraft 2 where but, but one thing i will say is you can keep the wow style um but still up res the game and to make it feel completely new i would even argue that like overwatch kind of has that cartoony style but it's more the graphics are more intense and it's the fluid the movements are more fluid and everything it's it's more up res than wow is so i can imagine like world of warcraft heading towards that direction right like i could totally picture um uh, some of the humans in Overwatch being in World of Warcraft. Like, they kind of look the same. They got the big eyes. They're a bit cartoony looking. But they're very realistic in terms of cartoony looking. So you could totally do that. You keep the style and still up res the game. I don't Warcraft think 3, and I think they've problem. done a good job updating it to a modern style. But it's getting to the point where I'm like, this is about as modern as I'd want it. Like, it doesn't have to get crazier than this. 
Uh, and I, I, definitely I think that's, realism it starts getting subjective at, at that point because some people are going to be like, well, I don't like that. I'd rather have something more realistic like, I don't know, Final Fantasy or whatever. But personally for me, I don't really like Final Fantasy. I'd rather have Warcraft style graphics. It's yeah, one of the me, reasons me that I even made machinimas and stuff back in the day was I loved the Warcraft style uh, of graphics. And so I, I enjoy it being the way it is. I don't like the hyper realistic. It feels like there's too many games like that. Like you can yeah. find, yeah, you I can agree. literally just open a, a Steam thing and find like a billion games that look the same. It's just, That's it's true. boring to me. <laughs> and so something like Warcraft, it has its own feel when you see all these Warcraft characters, you know what they are. You're like, that's War that's Warcraft, right? Yeah, whatever, yeah. World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3, or whatever some, it might be. You know what it is. Or and or so it's like I, some knockoff mobile game, right? That like literally has taken the art aesthetic of World of Warcraft and put it on a mobile device and called it, you know, w World of Fightcraft. Play now, mobile game. Yeah, you know, like that kind of shit. And then right away, it's, it's, it's an obvious blatant knockoff of Warcraft because they're using that very unique art style that Warcraft has. I think getting away from that is just i wouldn't want them I, to get away from i just it wouldn't want to do it and that's yeah. that's just my personal opinion obviously no, it's subjective everyone can have their own thing but i agree you're wrong and i'm right <laughs> the other big thing i've seen is the engine everyone's like dude the engine sucks we need a new engine new engines can do all these different things which i guess would kind of tie in with graphics but yeah i don't know how i don't know how engines work people always just bring up like an engine i'm just like i don't know <laughs> like i get what I an really engine is either. there's like unreal engine and like uh well, I think other. one major thing that engines bring is like physics laws and stuff like that. The way light plays off of things, the way your character interacts with the environment, like stuff like that could be upgraded in a new engine because it can handle more calculations at a time. Like I, my, my understanding of engines is also probably the same as well. Crendor's. I don't really understand it. But the, from what I've understood from things I've watched is a newer engine can do run more things at once, do more calculations at once, which means there's more interactions between things. So like maybe a new engine could, you know, stop your massive dick sword from clipping through your cape because it can render your cape to like kind of, you know, wrap uh, like around the back of your sword instead of clipping right through it, right? Whereas today's engine could never run that kind of stuff because it's already being pushed to the limits of how many calculations it can run at a time. So that's kind of the stuff that I could imagine a new engine bringing. Um, it doesn't have to bring hyper-realistic graphics. It can just bring more interactive graphics i guess you could say they're whatever but like people make their own engine i know like games like madden they like pump out an yeah, engine every Night year there's like the new frostbite helms, engine kind of the too. new thunderstorm engine they got like new engines every year i'm like so how how hard is it to or make an eyebrows engine? they do that <laughs> like is it something to where you could just make an expansion that has a new engine can you take down the old engine put a new engine can you just revamp the old engine can you just uh, wow 2 would definitely incorporate a new engine like that would be like the thing that would cons be be considered like a two version of take the, game. the old engine like add more onto it i have no idea so i'm not even going to talk about engines because i don't know how they work <laughs> so i'm like uh, what do i know i'm anything i say is literally just like uh, it it means nothing because i don't know how engines work i'm just like i the game run good <laughs> i guess the, the sometimes good, like every yeah. game's gonna have bugs and it's gonna have whatever but um no could they could they make an engine just as in an expansion, like, l l let me know in the comment section below. People that are like actual game developers and designers, let me know how game engines work. Like, yeah, do you yeah. need an Same. entire I, new I game for this? Can you put it in an expansion? Because you up, can you renovate the old one and whatever, like f flipping a house? I, I definitely think there's a lot of work that probably go into transitioning to a new engine. Uh, it's a, it's a big deal. And that's why it would kind of, that would kind of be like this, this signifier, like, oh, this is a two. Like, you could put a two on the end of this. This is a new engine. They renovate the house? I don't know. Speaking of flipping a house, I want to give a shout out to Zygor, the channel sponsor. You can check them out with the like link Zygor in the description. Zygor, sponsor me. Code what Crendor the hell, for 20% off an elite subscription. Zygor's got premium retail, classic rat guides. Channel. They got sponsor. everything. Classic hardcore, gold farming, all that stuff. This really has nothing to do with flipping a house, but I wanted a way to promote the channel sponsor. <laughs> the other big thing I hear people talk about with WoW 2 would be a reset, right? Like going back in terms of story yep. or starting over with the stories. Yeah. Everyone's very tough. Basically bringing classic into retail. Like if, if classic and retail had an unbelievable sex scene together, right? Like it's a, like some of the craziest shit you've ever seen. The baby that would be born out of that would be WoW 2 because people want to see classic leveling experience in a retail engine, right? That would be what WoW 2 would bring.
Uh, that's when people talk about WoW 2, that's sometimes what they're thinking of. It's like, oh, a reset of the game completely, but in a classic way. Tired of the story. And I am tired of the story as well. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I am tired of being a god slayer, a titan killer, like all of these different things. Yeah, like, I, I, just, I enjoy classic WoW yeah. because you get to go back and go on the hero's journey, right? You yes, start exactly. as a nobody and you level up and you become a somebody. That's fun to me. And so... I think being able to start over with the story is cool, but I don't think we have to have an entire new yeah, game, of all out of the game to do yeah. that. I think you can do that fairly easily with just expansions. I mean, if you think of an expansion, you essentially are starting over in terms of gear anyway. Like usually when you start an expansion, you know, you know for a fact your gear is going to get replaced, right? Yeah, like yeah. it's just, so there's one aspect of it already. Your gear is going to get replaced, but there there could be creative ways to do that. Like there, there could be a way to like reset in the story, right? Like you could have a uh, Nazath turns out he won, right? And it resets everything like that could be done in the lore for sure. I don't know what you do with people's mounts and shit though. Like, do you let them keep them even though they're resetting and they're going back to being like just a farmer in Elwyn killing some wolves? Like, do you still give them um, like an uh, amazing looking fiery Phoenix mount that they got from Sunwell or something? I don't know. I don't know, but uh, but that there could be a way to reset leveling and the whole experience of players through the lore. That's possible. Maybe in a new expansion, you just, you just gotta lose. the gear that you get is only usable in that expansion, and then, uh, you know, it's like kind of baby gear. You could literally have it baby be like gear. one stam, two int type of thing where you're <laughs> okay. scaling it back for yeah. that specific zone, and then when you get out of that zone, maybe it scales to different levels. Uh, I don't know. That's just a thought. It might be a dumb thought. It could be terrible. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, but I think the biggest thing for me is the story. I think outside of the gear, outside of everything, the story is the main thing. And I think one way to do this would be somewhat similar to Pandaria, ignoring the garage part of it. I think, <laughs> um, like we've had plenty mean? of bosses like, um, what well, God, what's his name? It's the, the Thunder King, right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Pandaria, Thunder... King, right? It's uh, Lei Shen. You could have like a, a Lei Shen type boss where you have an expansion and then maybe you're a nobody in this new zone you've went to, or this new planet or place or island. I don't care. Whatever. Sure. Okay. You're a nobody. And then, you know, you work your way through, you help all the people that live there. And then they keep talking about this big bad guy that's there. Like, oh, it's the, the, the storm man. <laughs> like, I don't know. Right. Just some right. crazy guy. And you, you go through the zones and you learn about him and you learn about how the, he's impacted the zone. And then you fight his minions, you fight all the stuff, and then you build it all the way up kind of like the Lich King. And then you get there and you fight the big storm man or the Lich King. And then that's it. Sure. We don't need future expansions about him. We don't need like backstory of like an expansion going back in time to learn about him in the past. We don't need all this stuff. It's just like, the okay, cool. The story just ends with the expansion. We did it. Now yeah. we can go to the next expansion. Like, yeah, they used to do that. I mean, that's how WoW used to do it. And then everyone saw that everyone kind of saw the like story continuing through expansions was like as an improvement. The only problem is Blizzard's taken it, I think, a bit too far and that now bosses continue through expansions. So, like, we feel, like, honestly, in Dragonflight, I feel like we didn't do shit. I feel like all we did was, like, literally help out furries, live out their scaly fantasies, and make friends, and, you know, you know, make out with each other on this new island, and have weird fucking orgies and shit, and, oh, Eridicron, oh, yeah, he was the bad guy? Oh, shit, we didn't kill him. Oh, shit, he's continuing on. I feel like we did nothing. Like, we did nothing to save the world in this expansion. We found the island, we, like, got drunk on it, and then we're like, oh, damn it, there's this Eridicron guy we were supposed to kill. Oh, well, maybe next time. And now, like, this world threat is still looming. I kind of liked it more where, like, we dealt with the world threat, and yeah, maybe it created another threat later on, and we went and did, dealt with that in the next expansion, but now I feel like we're not even ending... We're not even doing anything in the expansions anymore. Like, this is just the story's continuing on because we fucked up. We didn't do anything. That's kind of how it feels. Yeah, we did nothing. Yeah, nothing. Good storytelling doesn't have to be like this. <laughs> not even killing I, I need boss, to create yeah. a character that true. lasts through the tests of time, right? It could just be like just one expansion. He wasn't just in a the good origin, story, yeah, you move on. And then maybe at some point in the future, you're like, hey, everybody liked that expansion. You know, maybe expand upon it a little more. Maybe... You can bring him back, but at that point, like, I think it's fun just making your own story. I mean, it, it's actually kind of what the Lich King even was. We just had the Warcraft 3 backstory with it, 
But yeah, we did. You had the Lich King impacting Northrend. Mm -hmm. You go to Northrend and you see how the place has been impacted by the Lich King. You get to yeah. learn about all the different, you know, the races and the, the people of Northrend and how they've been impacted and see how his power is kind of corrupting different things. And you learn about the lore of the past. And then, you know, you go through all the different raids and how... Uh, they kind of tie into the land, but some don't even, you know, specifically tie into the Lich King. They're still more tied into the land, so you can still do that type of thing. And okay. then you eventually get to the Lich King, and then it's like, there we go. Like, sometimes I feel like they get too, they get too ahead of themselves. They're just like, all right, uh, yeah. BFA, you know, everybody's fighting, and then there's, like, this thing, the, the Sylvanas is happening, and then there's, like, Jaina's going crazy. Yeah, they're t he's right. They're telling stories that go, like, too far beyond the expansion, and then, like I said, you feel, like, unfulfilled. Like, you got, you feel, you feel blue balled, essentially. Like, you did nothing. <laughs> like, I had all this buildup, all these villain arcs, and all this shit, and honestly, the storytelling is kind of so shit that... You don't even know what's going on. You're like, wait a minute. Is that the bad guy? Should I be chasing him? Like, what? What is their plan? They're, like, Zoval was the most annoying of all because we didn't. I still don't even know what Zoval's plan was. I don't know what the hell is going on with him, honestly. They was the worst of them all. Like some people said in chat already, like just retcon Zoval, and that's wow too. I'll take that. Yeah. The Lich King really was kind of the last villain. Deathwing kind of was too, actually. That we dealt with were like, uh, you know, you had the villain, you fought him, you killed him, moved on. And, and that just shit doesn't happen anymore. And then, oh yeah, Nazas here, everybody. Nazas showed up. And you're just like, what the shit's going on? <laughs> Being a fan wasn't what the shit's that's going not, on expansion. That doesn't need a new game. That just needs a, a good storytelling. It just needs a good storytelling. <laughs> that's it, right? Like, we, just, I feel like they need to just simplify things. It feels like there's trying to be too much stuff going on sometimes it's like an expansion it has like five different storylines going on it's like yeah, i just i true. only need one that's all i need it's just one and then i can go back to the other expansions and collect stuff and do old raids and do all that stuff but for the current expansion i just want a a, a simple easy to follow yeah. uh you know everything's tied together type of expansion right, so of where i can beach, yeah. show up and then, you know, you don't even have to be like some nobody hero, but just like you're some guy that showed up and you're like, hey, I heard you guys needed help. And they're hey. like, we have no idea who you are. Maybe you need to earn our trust with like reputation and all this different stuff. Sure. And then they learn to trust you and then you help them take down the guy. And it's, you know, it's somewhat of a hero's journey. That's really yeah. it. Like, it's, it's like a vanilla. It feels like it's not. It's like it, a vanilla WoW journey in retail WoW. That's what he, he wants. Like he's talking about having like a new vanilla journey in each expansion, essentially, where you're like a nobody again. Then you you. You get to know the people, you defeat the threat, and you move on. It, 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 it can be simple like that, and I feel like that's what we need to go back to. But overall, that's really my opinion on WoW 2. I just think, we again, we're living in WoW 2 right now, and I think having classic WoW with current WoW, it's nice having two versions of the game. And then I think yeah. Classic Plus would actually be really cool. I'll make a different video on that entirely, but I think Classic Plus is a fantastic idea and having the two versions of the it. game that are you know, pretty different games is really nice. So let me know in the comments section, what do you think of WoW 2? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments section below. And uh, if you want to see another video of me ranting about stuff, here's one of me ranting about what makes a good World of Warcraft quest. Wow, I wonder <laughs> what makes a good quest in World of Warcraft. I better click this video to find out. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Good. So yeah. <laughs> Let's click the video. Let's click it. I, I, I like that. I already watched it. So I, you know, you know, going and clicking it is kind of pointless. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, look, what do I see to WoW 2? I definitely think like bringing the game into a new engine would be a great thing for, for WoW, you know, bringing retail into a new engine. I do think there's a way to kind of write the story and that we kind of go back to the beginning a little bit. Right, and like creating new quests in the old zones, taking us back through the old zones, because revamping the world but not giving us a reason to go explore the world would be stupid as shit. There'd be, we need new quests, new reasons to go to the old zones. That would be, feel like a WoW 2, right? Like upgrading the engine so the game kind of feels different but still looks similar. You know, it's 4K up resed, all that shit. Maybe the environment's a little bit more interactive. Maybe your armor kind of hangs a different way a little bit because it's on a new engine and that stuff can be rendered and calculated now. And taking us back through the old zones with new stories, new quest lines, all new stuff. And the stories don't have to be tied to the new boss. 
It doesn't have to be some crazy shit. It's just like, you know, like a Hey Adventures, you've gone out and you've done all this crazy shit, but while you were gone, this farmer's farm, you know, the wolves have been attacking his, his crops again. Come on, come help this guy out. And it's just like shit like that, you know, that you adventure through again and you do again. And it's it, it would be fun. I would love to do that, personally. And I think, like, some... It wouldn't necessarily be called WoW 2, but everyone would understand, like, yeah, this is WoW 2. This is WoW 2, and that'd be fun. And, oh, yeah, and retcon so Vol out, of course. That's the best, best, the best thing of all. 